Hello teachers, our problem, an equilateral triangle is inscribed in a circle. If the area of the circle is 1,500 millimeters squared, what is the area of the triangle? So, okay, we have a problem here and we have this formula, setting plane geometry part one. And this is for the equilateral triangle and this is for the circle. Ilalagay ko po sa description box para madali po natin ma-access. And here, R squared, R squared. So, madali na po natin makukuha ang area of the triangle na hinahanap. But, let me share this one. We have area of the circle is equal to pi R squared here. Then, paano po natin masasolve ang radius gamit ang formula na ito? R squared is equal to area of circle over pi. So, review na lang po ito sa so, medyo nahihirapan kung paano gagawin. And para matanggal po natin ang square dito, we have to multiply both sides or raise both sides to exponent 1 half. Okay? So, ito ay tanggal na. What remains, R is equal to the quantity of area of circle Circle over pi raised to 1 half. So, paano na po ito? Recall rule of exponents. So, again, lahat po ng videos related to this one nakalagay po sa description box. Kindly check na lang. Therefore, r is equal to square root of area of circle over pi. Dahil to ang ating n, therefore, n root of this one so, square root is squared. Kaya naging square root of area of circle over pi. Okay? So, ayan po ang ating gagamitin. Again, kung carry po ng matamata na lang, that's good. So, what we have, radius is equal to square root of area of the circle A over Pi, okay, so this is for the area of the circle. How about the area of the triangle? We have this one. Plug in po natin 3 fourths r squared where r is equal to x. Therefore, x squared is square root of 3. Ayan. So, para saan po yung kanina? Para isahang. Ayan. Isang bagsak na po ng area of circle and area of the triangle. Then, What's next? Call. Tatanungin po tayo ng area. What is the given area? It is 1,500. So this is the radius and this is the area of the triangle. Unfortunately, wala po sa ating given. Considering nasa actual example tayo, so hindi po tayo kailangan basta-basta manghula lang, lalo na pakalayo po ng sagot. So what we gonna do is to Look for the error or decode. Magdi-decode po tayo. So, ano po ang ating gagamitin? Reverse engineering method. Babalik po tayo from area of the triangle para malaman natin kung ano ang dapat na area ng circle na malapit dito. So, let's investigate. Okay? Having this area of the triangle, 4 times area of the triangle is equal to 3 r squared squared of 3. Then, r squared is equal to 4 times area of the triangle over 3 square root of 3. Ayan, i-apply din po natin yan. So, we will have r is equal to square root of, of 4 times area of the triangle all over 3 square root of 3. So, ito na po ang ating i-input dito. Okay? So, alpha x is equal to square root of 4. Yung A naman po natin dito ay area of the triangle kasi pabalik po tayo. So, area of the triangle po itong umpisa natin. Then, here will be the area of the circle which is pi r squared. Ayan. Diba ang r natin ay x? So, next, call. Tatanungin po tayo ng area. ba? ito po ay area of the triangle. What is the area of the triangle? So, ito po, isa-isahin po natin kung alin po ang mas malapit sa ating given. Okay? So, letter A, 783, 
point twelve. So this is the area. And let's take note nine four three point forty nine. This is the radius, and this is the area of the circle. Medyo malayo. So, call 1033.73 for letter C. And this is the radius and this is the area. So, the area is nearly 2,500 and the given is 1,500. Hmm? May liwanag na ang buhay. 100.24. This is the radius and this is the area. Hence, ang pinakamalapit ay ang ating letter C, which is 2,500. Therefore, i-a-assume po natin na dapat ito ay 2,500. Nagkamali po sa pag-input dahil magkatabi ang 1 at 2 sa ating keyboard. Okay? So, our answer is letter C, 1,033.73 mm squared. Sharing this problem kasi baka sa actual ay may ma-encounter po kayong ganito. At least alam na po natin kung paano i-manage. Huwag po tayong chachamba agad kasi baka yun na, yun na lang po ang kulang para tayo ay pumasa or para tayo ay maging top notcher. Okay? Kaya share this para mas marami po tayong matulungan. God bless po sa exam. Oh, by the way, kung nalilito po dito, Nasa description box din po yung ating first solution last year. So, ngayon po medyo nag-level up na tayo kasi mas na-explore na po natin ang ating calculator techniques. God bless po sa exam. God bless teachers. Claiming LPT 2024.